Hey Shelby Bells, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. You guys, it's only been a few hours since the last video that I uploaded on this La Demi and Denzel Dion situation, but you guys, Denzel Dion has responded to the allegations made against him by La Demi. Uh, La Demi has gone onto her Instagram and said that Denzel Dion attacked her at a party and Denzel Dion has come forward with his truth. I wanted to share that with you guys. So if you're interested in hearing more about that drama, make sure that you keep on watching. Okay, guys, if you're not caught up on what is going on, uh, there is a beauty guru, a trans beauty guru in the YouTube community named La Demi, who is making some very, very serious allegations against another YouTuber named Denzel Dion, who has about 1.46 million subscribers on YouTube. Um, and it's very, very serious, you guys. They were both at a party for a guy named Manny UK, and allegedly, Denzel Dion attacked La Demi for flirting and trying to talk to his best friend, Max Montana. La Demi is saying that Max Montana and a bunch of other people just spectated on the entire thing and didn't help her and that she had her wig ripped out of her hair and she was bleeding and bruised up and um, her dress was completely ruined. I'm so sad. I was assaulted and beat up by at Max.Montana's best friend. He ripped my hair out and beat me up on the steps of a house at my most vulnerable. I couldn't defend myself because I was on steep steps, but he took advantage of me. I did absolutely nothing to the guy, but he couldn't deal with the fact of me flirting with his BFF so he took effect. I am bleeding from falling on the steps and full of scrapes. Everyone did nothing but watch me and stare as I screamed for help and couldn't even hit back including Max Montana. Tore all of my hair off and I couldn't find the rest of my hair but I do know one thing and this is a hate crime at Max Montana. I left that party with my hair braided back, thank God, but that doesn't justify what was done to me and everyone watching me getting my ass beat on steep steps. I had no control and was caught so off guard. Also threatened that he would do it time and time again. If everyone can please help me find him, he's overly tall and African American at Max Montana. It's not okay. Everyone needs to help me find at Max Montana best friend so I can press charges and end this. He's a gay man. He had no business beating on me. This huge ass man had the nerve to pound on me on the stairs where I had no control. Mind you, he is 6'7". How about you give it a go and see if you can last a second getting boxed and your hair ripped out by him? Karma will find you, big guy. Thank you everyone for all of the messages. It really fills my heart to see how many people I have around me that care so much. This n should have never happened. Him and I had an argument over a boy that I liked, that's his best friend, and it resulted in violence on his behalf. I've always known I was not liked, admired, or cared for by his body language and facial expressions, yet I always tried to keep the peace and say hi, give a hug. I had a crush on a guy, big effing deal. No justification to get ugly and humiliate me in front of your people. For that moment, I got a taste of what other girls like me around the world might go through and let me tell you, your face in the concrete and not knowing what's going to happen next is not hopeful. I'm fine, I'll be good, but I pray for everyone else around the world that doesn't have a platform to share their stories. I love you. Lademi has received a ton of support in her favor, but also a lot of people are like, well, where is the proof? Where is Denzel? Why isn't he speaking out about this? Like, what is going on? How come there are no witnesses coming forward? How come there are no videos of this of this attack? If everybody was just staring and watching, nobody was filming, like, where is, where is everybody else's account of what happened? And Denzel has finally come forward, you guys. This is what he had to say on his Instagram story. I am heartbroken and deeply saddened by the allegations made by Ledemi that I assaulted her. Those allegations are not true. I would never do the things I'm being accused of. Certainly not to a woman, let alone a trans woman. I honestly don't understand why Ledemi is accusing me of this. I know Ledemi and we have always been cordial to each other. Ledemi and I were at the same party at the beginning of the evening last night, but we went our separate ways before she was allegedly attacked. 
I don't understand why she constantly mentions my height, build, and race. For those who truly know me personally and know my character can attest that I never do what I'm accused of doing. I am going to assume that the accusations leveled against me by Lademi were the result of a mistaken identity, and once Lademi realizes that, she will apologize to me. I hope Lademi finds her attacker, and I hope that she is physically okay. Best, Denzel. So this is what Denzel is saying, you guys, and honestly, some of his fans have been in the comment section of my last video and are kind of saying the same thing, that Denzel would never do anything like this, and my response to them is, hey, like... I understand you might be a fan of this person, that you might have been watching them for very for a very long time. It's important to understand that parasocial relationships are just that. They're parasocial relationships. And sometimes the people we think are super nice aren't super nice people. And you have to remember that YouTubers do a little thing called editing. And when we press record to film something for you guys, we know what we're doing. We're in front of a camera. We're putting on whatever version of ourselves we want you to see. And I just think it's very important that we remember that. Now, I'm not saying that Denzel's a bad person. I don't even know Denzel. It's my first time hearing about him. So I really don't know. But I'm just saying that it's important for us to remember that the relationships you have with a creator are parasocial and you don't really know them unless you do really know them. In that case, then, you know, a character testimony would actually be in our favor at this point. So if you want to send me a DM or something on Instagram, if you are actually friends with Denzel in real life, my DMs are open on Twitter and Instagram. So Lademi has seen what Denzel had to say as his public statement regarding this incident, and she has responded to what his statement was. So here's what she had to say. I'm not going to speak off of emotion, although I have a million running through me right now. I'm strictly going to speak off of facts. Denzel and I met a few months ago at a nightclub here in Los Angeles, and he treated me absolutely vile the entire night. That night, he made comments about me being trans and saying that he didn't want his best friend at Max Montana anywhere near me. I didn't remember his name, nor have I seen his Instagram until today. Now, as for last night, the more and more I would interact with Max, the more upset Denzel would get. The reason I mentioned height, weight, stature, and race is because Denzel you have a very distinct look. You cannot be mistaken for anyone else. Also, as Max's best friend, you are not mistaken for anyone else. As the night progressed, so did Denzel's aggression. I brushed it off and unfortunately was the last person to leave the party waiting for my Uber. And then the events transpired on the steep stairs where Denzel viciously attacked me. Not only did he attack me, but while he was doing so, he said, this is going to happen every single time I see you. I was in fetal position screaming for help. So I'm just noticing a little bit of a discrepancy in what Lademi's saying, and I'm just going to point it out here. You guys would take that for what it is. She said here that she was the last one to leave the party and to call her Uber, but then she also stated that everyone was staring at her and watching her while she was being attacked. I want to make it clear I'm not taking sides in this situation. I do just want to point out that discrepancy in what Lademi was saying then versus what she's saying now. Max and a few others stood some ways away and did nothing. It took you 15 hours for all of you to get together and agree that if no one but your group saw, then maybe we can all lie and say it never happened. Denzel, Max, and the entire group that witnessed it are guilty. And seeing as to how Denzel's been treated after how he treated me, everyone is paying panicking and doesn't want to be guilty by association. It was 100% you, Denzel, and your denial and fake apology just adds insult to injury. How dare you? I stand in my truth. Okay, so now what it seems like Lademi is saying that it wasn't the entire party that witnessed her getting beat up, which is really what it kind of sounded like originally, but it was just Denzel, Max, and a couple other of their friends, and now the fact that it was only them uh, means that they are kind of trying to cover it up and make it not seem like what it was. Denzel is saying he was actually no longer at the party at that point. And you guys, I really don't think we're actually going to know what truly happened from this unless somebody else comes forward. This guy Max needs to come forward or somebody else needs to come forward about this. At this point, it looks like Denzel is trying to just clear his name from this completely. But Lademi is standing in her truth and saying, I know that was you, Denzel. And she's saying, you know, like, hey, you have a very specific stature. You're very, very tall. There's not many people out there that are six foot seven. Like, I know that was you. I'm going to make it clear. I do kind of agree with Lademi that her 
her making the comments that she's making about what Denzel looks like is not really, it's not a race thing. It's just about, hey, that's what he looks like. And that was the description of the person that was beating me up. Like, there was there any other six foot seven people at this party? Six foot seven is a very, very tall individual. And you are not easily missed if you were that tall. And I'm just going to go ahead and say that. I don't know, you guys. I don't know what the truth is. Um, there's a truth somewhere in the middle of what these two are saying. We've now heard Denzel's side. We've heard Lademi's side. I The only truth now to be said is the actual truth. And I think it lies somewhere in the middle of what the two are saying. Uh, it would be great if Max or somebody else that was there came forward with their side of the story so we could put together a more clear picture of what happened. But regardless, I am so sorry that this happened to you, Lademi, whether that was the fault of Denzel Dion or whether that was another attacker out there. I'm so, so, so sorry to hear that this has happened to you. And I hope that you're healing and um, going to make a quick recovery soon. Um, never stop sharing your story, though. So uh, regardless of it was Denzel, if we find out it was somebody else, it's very good that you spoke out about this because it just happens to too many people out there in the world. And um, it's just very, very unfortunate that this happened. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the updates on this drama. And you guys, let's keep the transphobic stuff out of this. There were some of you that creeped into the comment section of the last video. That will not be tolerated. We support the LGBTQ community on this channel. And please don't bring your hate for any of that onto this channel in the comment section, okay? Period. And that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all my future videos when they do post. Remember, all Shelby Bells, ring the bell. And you guys, yeah, give the video a thumbs up. It's happening for some people now. When you give videos a thumbs up, like little rainbow, like sparks or something, come out of the thumbs up button. It's really kind of cute. If you want to test it out, test it out on this video, girl. If you liked today's video, YouTube should be suggesting a couple more down here for you to choose from. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.